G'day viewers, well what is Dan VR Kelly again? Now, speaking of, you know, these engines always shitting, shitting themselves, literally, they spin bearings. The other video I did in the other engine that was supposed to be, um, was supposed to be fixing out to put in this car, the spun bearing in that happened to be in a number three cylinder. And then a previous engine that that engine replaced, which was in, which was in the VN we, we had, that we parted out, the original, original engine in that that also had a spun bearing, that's why they replaced it. And of course the brother had too much fun and blew it up. And it also had a number three bearing in that cylinder. That same cylinder happened to be the one that failed as well, so. I got a feeling this and these got the spun bearing in number three cylinder as well, so. I don't know if it's just GM had a bad batch of bearings on number three cylinders of these engines, but just a coincidence. Three engines in a row. I I'm just guessing this and these number three cylinder as well. That's gone bad. So yeah, all the GM had a bad batch of bearings and number three cylinders in these engines or what, but I'm going to try and turn this by hand and rock it backwards and forwards. You should be able to hear a clunk roughly in that side of the engine. I'm just guessing it's on that number three cylinder right there. I'm going to set the camera on the fan shroud, face it, and then I'll just turn it backwards and forwards. Hear that? I turn it slower. That's a fair bit of play in there. That's probably, I don't know. I'll probably do a very, uh, probably a rough guess, I reckon about, uh, probably six or seven mil of play in that, in that, um, in that cylinder. So that's, possibly that's, um, piston's probably coming up and smacking into the head, so. As the valves are opening, the piston's probably hitting the valve, so. If we are actually going to take this engine apart, if if it doesn't get blown up, which I hope it doesn't, if it doesn't, it's probably not worth fixing, but you'll probably see little marks on top of the piston where the valves have hit. And the valves that have will probably be, I don't know, the worst case scenario, the valves will probably be slightly bent. But that's a lot of, I've already cleaned this thing in a bag. All this black, sooty stuff. It's just all toast. You smell this. All you can smell is just toast, like it's been hot. You can see in there, it's just here. Yeah, this engine's been very hot. It's the number one cause of spun bearings, it is. Getting them too hot and hooning. Especially resulting from over revving too much. So I must have this cylinder has a very bad design for oil. It can't keep the oil up. And it just gets dried out and then friction builds up. The bearing spins and eats the crank out. So yeah, it's probably a lot of wear in there. The, by the way, I spun this. Yeah, I'll do it again. See if I can turn it one full revolution, see what happens. Yeah. There we go. Can't get it to hit the head. But that definitely doesn't sound good at all. There's definitely a little bit of play there, so. Now, this did idle, but the engine jerked and jolted and clunked and crushed, and this barely, barely idled, so. Not good. To fix this is going to be a new crank, possibly a new conrod, because that's obviously been heated up the way that bearing spun. It's too late now, it's being driven too much of the spun bearing, so. New conrod, new crank. That's probably 300 bucks there. Then possible head damage and valve damage, so that's another couple of hundred bucks. And the engine's done 328,000 k, so a full rebuild. It's about eight or 900 bucks, depending on yeah, where you do it, who's doing it. But the car's not worth much anyway. The VR, so. This is just going to get part of that, so. I've already put the struts on my ute. These are my old ute ones, and they're a bit tired. Bit of a shame, but once it, once these engines have been hooned and busted up, that's it. Not worth fixing. They're completely destroyed. There's also this radiator I would have kept as a spare, but unfortunately there's a little leak up here, so I can't be kept. That's probably not easy to fix either. Right up the top was a little crack there, and then it's seamed together. So there's a leak there. 
This is being installed by Hoons. Had it professionally installed. The car doesn't need this alarm crap. It's just one of those crappy little immobilizers. I think, uh, I'm not sure, I'm just guessing, but this water pump could be new, so. Yeah, although it hasn't been wrecked by the engine overheating, it might still be all worth salvaging, but I don't know. It's probably better off finding a new one. But yeah, it's got cruise control. The module, someone might want that, for example. ABS brakes, all that sort of modules on here. Spare lights. That will fit my brother's ute, because this has got water in it and it's corroded it. The cluster someone's lent that to fix their car with it. And they've still, still got it, so I don't know if, um, if they've actually fixed their car or they're going to give it back or what, but I don't know. But I'll just put the VN one here for now. Just, as, just for um, shits and giggles to see if it would fit, and it does fit. Don't know if it's going to work the same though. Don't want to start this car up. It's already going to go bang as it is. But yeah, you've got a spare climate control module. Hasn't been worn out much. And the cluster. The dash, I mean, is at the back. I don't know how easy this stuff washes off though. That might be just turps and it'll come off, but not going to be the same. It's got airbag. It's got that stupid alarm thing, which has been wired up to this. Bits of poo with a light and some sort of button. I don't know if that's a turn your mobilizer off or what, but just unnecessary crap. Electric mirrors it's got. All those sorts of parts, but yeah. I think these, the head unit, the whole sound system's been, it's not, not very odd at all. So that's something we've got that's spare for another car. It's got the airbag, I think that's the airbag thing under there. It's like an accelerometer or something that sets the airbag off when a car crashes. It's got all that sort of stuff, the heater core, things like that can be useful for parts. But yeah. All the chrome. The mirrors are electric, as I said. It also has got oh, the sound system, the amps. It doesn't have the amps or subs, but it's got all the wiring and everything there. So yeah. That's the only thing wrong with this, is just the engine and the gearbox is a bit sloppy. But the main thing is the engine. So, this car's gone. But yeah, smell of that oil, have a look at inside that. There's a lot of toasty, just all toasty. So yeah, at least we've got any of that in that area of this. But yeah, there's enough rambling on about a hoon figged up car. I'm gonna have a quick look under it. Got a good fan. That could be a good spare fan. Got a bit of one oil leak, but that's to be expected. This deflector would have come in useful, but Hoons must have hit a speed hump or something. Friggin' idiots. It's got a record of Commodores. It's got independent suspension and a low key performance exhaust. All those things are good for parts. But yeah, I'm gonna 